Hello and welcome to Hits in History. Today's song is Another Brick in the Wall by Pink Floyd. This song reached the number one spot in the charts in the United States in March of 1980, where it spent four weeks there. Now, before we talk about the song, what else was going on around the world? Well, the USSR held its first rock and roll festival, and Spain and the UK signed an agreement to reopen the border between Spain and Gibraltar, which had been closed since 1969. Now, Pink Floyd, when we talk about the group, we talk about the name. Apparently, one naive record executive, when introduced to the group, asked the question, which one's Pink? Well, we know that there is no Pink and there is no Floyd in the group, except that we do know that the group's name is based off of two blues musicians, Pink Anderson and Floyd Council. Now, throughout the 1960s and the 1970s, Pink Floyd was always experimenting with new music, electronic music, different sounds. So they became known as a very progressive rock and roll group. However, they were not very well known. They were known among a few people, a cult status, so to speak, until they released the album Dark Side of the Moon. After that, they released Wish You Were Here, and then they released the album Animals. Now today's song, Another Brick in the Wall, comes from the album The Wall. But we have to talk about the Animals, that album and that tour, because when Pink Floyd was touring, supporting the album Animals, they were so big at that time. The fans loved them. They were sleeping very little. They were touring around the world. They weren't getting much sleep, and they, of course, became huge in the eyes of their fans. One day in Toronto, Canada, Roger Waters spat on a fan in the front row. He couldn't believe he did it. In fact, later on, he reflected on that incident, and he thought about how Pink Floyd had created a wall between their fans. Well, there's the metaphor, a wall. And so he began to write a cycle of songs behind that incident that became the music for the wall. Roger Waters and David Gilmour needed background voices for this song, Another Brick in the Wall. They gave instructions to their engineers, go out and find young boys between 10 and 15 years old from preferably the north of London and have them sing any way you want. Well, when those tapes came back, they were stunned. It was such good music that they decided to put the boys' voices in front instead of using them as background. That's the story behind the song, Another Brick in the Wall. Thanks for watching.